If you've ever tried your hand at content creation, you'll know that it's an incredibly hard journey to stick with. I think that a lot of people are under the impression that content creation is an easy job and to get into it full time would be an incredibly easy way of making money. Unfortunately though, that really couldn't be further from the truth. And in today's video, I wanted to go a little bit deeper into this topic and reassure any of you who are really struggling on this journey to doing full-time content creation that it is worthwhile in the end. And we'll talk about some tips that might help you out if you're struggling on this journey overall. But for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Kaylee, and I'm a beauty and fashion photographer based near Sydney, Australia. But I'm also a content creator and I started this channel a few years ago to talk about all things content creation, freelancing, business and social media. And as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about some of the tips that might might help you out if you feel like giving up on content creation. So I want to start off this video by saying that I absolutely have felt like this before on many, many different occasions. And I think the only reason that I've gotten to this point is that I've become so used to the cycle of disappointment that comes along with content creation online. And I'm so used to this cycle overall that I can push through that disappointment when it inevitably comes. And I know that actually sounds a little bit depressing, but now that I've been doing content creation since around 2014 or so, maybe a little bit earlier if you also count my photography Instagram and DeviantArt and Flickr and all of those sites that came before social media. I feel like I've been doing it so long that this is just something that is now second nature to me. So I come to expect a lot of disappointment when it comes to content creation, which kind of sounds sad, but I absolutely know the feeling of starting something and even sticking with it for a long period of time and working hard at it only to not see the results that you would like. And sometimes not seeing results at all, which really sucks. <laughs> and you should know that if you do feel this way, it's completely normal. And content creation is like this. It's a constant cycle of wins and disappointment. And there really will be times where you're wondering to yourself what the heck you're doing wrong. But I do have to mention that in a majority of these circumstances, when you're feeling like this, sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes this is just how social media is. It's how YouTube is and how algorithms are and Instagram. And unfortunately, this is just something that comes along with it. And there is sometimes a little bit of luck involved, but just know that it's completely normal to feel this way. And it's a completely normal part of your content creation journey. If you feel like you're getting nowhere. In fact, I feel like this at least 50 times a year that I feel like I'm getting nowhere because the ups and downs are just so clear to me. And I'm even going through one or two at the moment where I feel like my Instagram account's not growing. I also feel like my YouTube channel is kind of stagnating with views. I just feel like I'm going through that lull at the moment and feeling disappointed, but I also know that if I stop creating and if I stop posting, then I won't give myself any chance of growing my accounts. And I know that bottom line is if I stop creating, then I don't have a chance at all. So I think definitely as creatives, especially, and if you've got a creative kind of social media account going and content creation, I think we're really tied to our own work and it is really heartbreaking at times when people don't see the same value or if you're not seeing those results that you would like, it feels personal. It really does feel personal at times and you really become so hard on yourself and to the point where you just sometimes feel like you're not good enough to be doing this. And it is such a normal part. Like I can't stress this enough. It is so normal to feel this way about pretty much any journey that you're going to go in in life and any job career or prospect that you want to take on. You're always going to go through these feelings and especially when it comes to content creation. I think too much worth of content creation is tied to followers and views and sometimes it's really good to appreciate the little things that come along with content creation. But unfortunately, we haven't really been taught that. None of this sort of stuff was explained to us in school. There's no such thing as a content creation degree. And in terms of encouragement with this kind of thing, who do you go to for encouragement? It's really difficult. It's this weird kind of career path that's only come along in like the last decade. So it's really tricky as a content creator to navigate all of this when you don't even have the information or the knowledge that you need. I think as well, when we get in these ruts and when we feel like giving up, it's also really easy to start blaming the social media sites, which let me be real for a second. I have definitely done on many occasions. I'll be the first one blaming YouTube or Instagram or whatever site it is for not getting my content out there, for not recommending my content. And look, sometimes it absolutely is true. It is their fault. <laughs> They're not pushing 
pushing out my content. But at the same time, I know that if I constantly get in this cycle of blaming things that I can't really control, it's not really gonna do me any good. And I really need to just get back to square one, start creating my content, be consistent, and really just get back on the horse again. So now we're gonna go through a few little tips that I have if you feel like giving up with your content creation and you feel like you're getting nowhere. I really wanna go through some of these tips right now because I think that they tend to help me out when I'm feeling at my worst with my content creation and I feel like giving up and I feel like nothing's going anywhere. I do try and remind myself of each of those things because I think it's really worked well for me in the past and it's kept me going, which is the main thing. The main thing out of all of this is to keep going and to keep posting because like I mentioned before, if you stop, if you decide to stop, you decide to give up, then you've completely given away your chance at succeeding in anything content creation related. So I think it's always important to just keep going. But let's go through some of these tips now and talk about some of the ways that you can kind of reframe your mindset if you do feel like giving up with your content creation. Now, this is something that I've heard thrown around a lot by content creator gurus before, and I think it's a really good point, but it's to not focus on the follower count and to focus on other markers of growth instead. Focusing on the follower count can be such a depressing thing because as I've mentioned in previous videos, you can go through periods of stagnant growth, which means you're not getting any followers or you're going backwards at times, even with followers day to day. And if you're constantly focusing on that, then there's no way you're going to be able to have a positive outlook on your own content creation. I've talked about why focusing on followers alone is not a good way to kind of like look at a marker of growth or to even be something worthwhile focusing on at all. And that's because I've managed to create opportunities for myself, which has nothing to do with follower growth on my smaller accounts. And I am going to be talking about this more on this channel uh, about pitching to brands, if that's something that you want to do, especially because I am a travel content creator. That is something that's always been really of interest to me. I've wanted to work with brands. And as I'm a photographer and I do content creation, like some video and writing as well, I really like to combine that and to do that. So I really always wanted to work for some brands in the travel field. So I knew that that was something that I wanted to do, but it is also not necessarily something that you have to consider your follow account for on every occasion. So this is where I tend to look at other markers of growth. I also like to make sure that I'm looking at engagement as a marker of growth. Is my engagement improving? Am I being able to converse with people in my field? Are people in my niche actually seeing my work and commenting on it? Are they liking it? Are they saving it? You know, these are all little markers of growth as well. And it's good to have an engaged account because it's always going to bode well for you in other areas of content creation, like for example, working with brands. Also look at your content itself. Are you feeling like you're getting better with it? Do you feel like you're improving your content? This is something that I think should be the main marker of growth, not follow account. That really doesn't mean anything in that sort of sense. I feel like it's important to really focus and to reflect on your own work, on your content, and make sure that that's where you're improving, not necessarily always on getting more followers. My next tip is to celebrate the little wins. So by little wins, I mean maybe your post on Instagram got featured by a brand or a feature account, and that could be a great little bit of exposure for you. Maybe a brand you'd really love to work with starts following you on social media. That's always something that I get a little bit of positivity from. If I see a brand that I really love has actually started following me on social media, that's cool. It means my work has gotten in front of their eyes and there's potential down the track for me to pitch to them. There's just so many opportunities that could come out of that. So little wins like that are something to really focus on and to remember that it's not always just about, you know, followers and views. When things like this happen, you can also know that you're on the right track. So I think it's really important to focus on the little wins, celebrate them and make sure you know that you're growing in other ways. Now, my third point is something that I like to do a lot. And I feel like it's something that's really easy for me to do, to be honest, because I'm a little bit of a daydreamer. I am an INFP, which for those of you who haven't done the MBTI personality test, that is something you might want to go check out for this. But I am someone who considers themselves an idealist and I love to live in my little daydream ideal world in my head. <laughs> and so I'm constantly trying to manifest things that I really want to happen in my life. And I always like to daydream and think about when I've actually achieved certain goals in my life and including for content creation, what my life's going to look like and how I could take it from there and plan my next few goals. So I always like to really manifest as much as I can. And if you really like the idea of doing this too, I think it's great to have a vision board and a vision board is such a great way to just visually see how you want your life to look. It's a great thing to have in your home, in your office, wherever you like, in your workspace, something to have nearby where you can always look at that. Even if you're feeling at your darkest point with it all and you're just feeling like things aren't getting better in terms of your content, I feel like it's great to have a look at these vision boards sometimes or to have a look, even if you've got something on Pinterest, some visual images that really can just help you manifest that life that you want. 
And I think that this is something that it's always good to remember when you're just not feeling great about your content. Another really good thing to remember is to enjoy the journey as unenjoyable as it even might be at times. This is something that I've learned over the last 10 years because as a freelance photographer, I started off when I was like 15. And when I was 15, 16 years old, I had the most biggest, grandest ideas for photography and, and even for my concepts. And I was so enthusiastic. I was so excited to get out there and photograph. And I don't think I'll ever have that level of enthusiasm or creativity ever again. As sad as it is to say, I feel like that is only something you kind of get when you're really in the beginning stages of your journey or in the middle stages even, and you're really just excited to put content out there. I tend to look back on that time and wish I still had that level of enthusiasm and creativity that I feel like I have lost over the years. I think it's really easy to when you tend to get bogged down with, you know, mortgages, then you're really making it your business full time. And sometimes the creativity gets sucked out of that. So, you know, like even when you do achieve these goals one day, things are going to look a little bit different. And it's good to remember that the journey can sometimes be just as enjoyable as the end goal as well. So really just make sure that you're trying to live in the present as much as possible with this and trying to enjoy it as much as you can, because, you know, you may never have that same level of enthusiasm as you do at the beginning stages. So try and keep that in your mind. And the last point to remember is that you could be one step away from something really big. It could be one post, it could be a reel, it could be a YouTube video, whatever it is, it could be just that one thing that you are a step away from really achieving some sort of success with your content creation and you'll never know if you stop. As I mentioned, far and beyond, the most important point of this is to never stop creating. If you stop, those chances are gone. So keep going and always keep in the back of your mind as well the fact that you may be that one step away from a little bit of success with content creation, whatever that may be to you. I know it can be really, really hard. And I know from firsthand experience, I have posted for years on social media accounts and not received any results that I've wanted or not really gained much growth at all in terms of followers or in terms of views. But I do know at the end of all of this, as I mentioned, that I will keep going and I will face that disappointment head on every time it comes around because I know it's going to. And if you can push through that, then you might be on the verge of something special. Well, let me know in the comments section below how you're currently feeling about your content creation, because I would love to hear your thoughts. And I think it's great to create a conversation around this and to support each other. If you're feeling a little bit down, definitely feel free to put your stories down in the comment section below. Let me know how you're going with content creation. Let me know where you started. Let me know how you're feeling. I just want to see everyone's thoughts down there. And hopefully we can have a full conversation about it in the comments section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do because I'll be posting a lot more videos like this one in future. Also, let me know in the comments section if there's anything in particular you'd like to see on my channel, any particular requests, because I'm always open to your thoughts and opinions on this. But thank you so much as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.